storm Eleanor thousands lose power as brutal hurricane force winds R.I.P. through Britain. Widespread disruption is expected on Wednesday after the storm swept across the country overnight carrying heavy rain, hail and dramatic thunder and lightning. Several major bridges were closed due to high winds and there were numerous reports of fallen trees blocking roads including the M25. Overturned vehicles forced closures on the A1M, M6 and M5, where a recovery operation was underway to clear up the contents of a lorry left spilled on the road. An object in the overhead lines between London Paddington and Hayes reduced the number of trains leaving the major hub, while power outages halted rail services between Letchworth Garden City and Cambridge. A yellow warning of wind remains active for all of England and Wales, most of Northern Ireland and the Scottish borders until 6 p.m. on Wednesday after an amber warning was put in place for the early hours. The Met Office said gusts of 100 miles per hour were recorded at Great Dunfell in Cumbria at 1 a.m., while wind speeds reached 90 miles per hour at Orlock Head in Northern Ireland on Tuesday evening. Gusts up to 89 miles per hour were recorded on the Isle of Wight at around midnight, while in Northalt, northwest London, speeds of up to 73 miles per hour were detected and 77 miles per hour gusts were recorded in High Bradfield. South Yorkshire. Meteorologist Becky Mitchell said the risk of more violent storm force gusts had lessened, although wind speeds of between 70 mph and 80 mph could hit some parts. Storm Eleanor has swept through and the eye is now crossing the North Sea, although there will continue to be strong gusts through the day, she said. We have seen some heavy showers pushed through across the south of the UK along with hail, loud thunder and lightning which has woken people up. It is possible there will be quite widespread disruption this morning and it is worth checking before you travel. The Severn River crossing and the Orwell Bridge in Suffolk were closed in the early hours due to strong winds. Highways England said there was a possibility that the Queen Elizabeth II bridge would have to close and the East Tunnel of the Dartford crossing had been shut in case it had to take diverted traffic. Police forces in Cumbria, Suffolk. Norfolk and Humberside were among those to issue warnings that downed trees had blocked routes. Isle of Man police said infrastructure staff worked through the night to remove trees from the roads, while there were multiple reports of roofs coming off buildings, flooding and mud debris. The states of Jersey police said multiple roads remained closed due to fallen trees, stormy weather and high waves. As well as the problems posed by high winds, the Environment Agency has issued 50 flood warnings and 110 flood alerts, with coastal areas under threat from a combination of a high tide and large waves. In Cheshire the Rispco was called to a road in Pointdown where a swan had taken up residence in a puddle, blocking traffic.